Hey folks, it's Jake over at Heartland Marine. I'm gonna do a quick walk around on this 2005 Sea Ray. It's a 280 Sundancer. Go over the condition, show you any little spots, uh, needs, needs touched up, let you know what we'll fix, what we're not. Just give it the once over on condition. This one does have a windlass with a spotlight. Now when we drove this, uh, like maybe a week, week and a half ago, I think I heard that the spotlight wasn't working. So, that's not something that typically I fix, but I'll, I'll double check it and make sure. But I'm assuming it probably doesn't work. Let's check out the hole here. Got a couple little scuffs. Nothing major, just normal. A little bit of discoloration, that's from the roller there, so that'll come off with some acetone no real damage I've got one homemade repair oh I see a little gash I need to fix but I got one homemade repair here looks like they just filled it in with epoxy uh, it is sealed so I'm just gonna leave that alone it's gonna be hard to get to that one but I do have chip probably about two two and a half inches long right there with fiberglass showing uh, that I will fix I'm probably not going to uh, fiberglass it I've got a uh, a marine epoxy similar to that but it it looks better it's a little bit whiter um, and I'm not just gonna glob it on we'll actually make it look as nice as we can so I'll epoxy the bottom get it sealed so it's uh, protected I'm not gonna gel coat it again like I said um, but I will epoxy it and protect it and make it nice a couple small little scratches not and I'm picky just because I want people to know exactly what they're looking at a little bit of a small chip here it's not into the fiberglass I'm gonna leave that alone It's just a little bit of debris. Uh, graphics are pretty nice. Uh, I mean, you got a couple small little nicks, but I mean, overall, they're not bubbling up or peeling. And they're definitely not scratched up. The top pin striping, it's fair. I mean, starting to peel up a little bit, but nothing, nothing major. Couple more little spots in the bottom decal. Got a small gash here, not real deep. I'll probably fill that in with epoxy. I don't think it's down to the fiberglass quite yet, but I will fill that in. Uh, I got a smaller one here. Um, that one's not deep enough for me to fill. I'm not gonna worry about that. I will fill that with epoxy. And it looks like somebody else had uh, used the epoxy here. And again, ours will look better than this. But those are filled and sealed. A little bit of a chip here. I'll probably fill that one in too. Another little one that we're just going to leave that. Now around the ladder, where these doors get slammed, they always chip. So it has been filled there. I'm not seeing any much else, so looks pretty good. And if somebody's really particular, they can uh, take some soap and water with some fine grit sandpaper, and they can sand that and get it pretty smooth. Um, you'll have that discoloration where it's kind of the yellow, but you can flatten it out and make it look a little better. Uh, we won't, but if somebody, like I said, if somebody's particular. Uh, a little nick here, I'm not going to mess with that. Little feel of scuffs. We'll leave those. I mean, overall, the boat's nice. It's just when I go through on the videos and I point out any little thing that I see, it can be, oh, there's, you know, 15 different things. Well, in the totality of the whole boat, you know, it's minor. I mean, in this case, anyway. 
a little bit of a scratch that was filled with the epoxy there. Uh, we've got one more on the, actually two more on this side on the chine, right there and there. Oh, and I do have another little one right here. So like I said, if somebody wants to spend 35, 40 minutes with some sandpaper and some soapy water, they can knock all those repairs down and make it look nice. Of course, you can go back with gel coat and repaint it, you know, and get it up to speed if, if somebody's real particular. Me, if it's sealed, I'm not worried about it, so. It's just starting to rain. I'm gonna try to hurry this up and uh, do a video inside. We've got a pretty gnarly storm rolling through, so I'm gonna try to do this quick. All the vinyl and everything that I noticed looked nice. Um, There's maybe just one or two spots that uh, I gotta have my vinyl guy touch up and I'll point those out when I see them. But all the seats look good. Sea deck uh, flooring, that's a nice touch. You know, you got the sink area here. Got storage with a cooler underneath captain's chair has the bolster so you sit up a little higher see over the front dash is nice it's not all faded definitely wasn't uncovered and just baked in the sun seat here so I got a couple small little nicks right here so I'll get those patched my vinyl guy will fix those you may see a little bit of where the repair was, but they'll be protected and they won't get any worse. It's a little cluttered down here because we've got the old carpet. And the buoys and some other stuff oil filters so it does have a GPS map uh, 531 from Garmin toilet I don't think it's ever even been used still in the plastic wrap this faucet pulls out and it hangs up here if somebody wanted to shower Got your fridge, storage underneath the sink, got your range here, storage in the cabinets, microwave, small TV, a little bit more storage here in the cubby. More storage in the cabinets. This boat does have gin and AC. And I don't know how well it's gonna pick up back here. I guess I can try to turn the, I can't turn my flash on while I'm using the wide lens. So it might be a little dark, y'all have to excuse me. But you got the instrument panel here. Your 12 volt 120, and then you've got the V berth here in the back. A little bit of storage here with the trash can in the floor, and this is the 280 Sundancer. Overall, pretty nice boat. Um, I also like to look at like the headliners around some of the windows, um, make sure there's no staining where water had gotten in and kind of discolored anything. And I'm not seeing any of that in here. So it looks like everything's still sealed pretty well.
Yeah, 05 C Ray 280 Sundancer. We've got this priced at 59.9. Uh, does not have a trailer, but I have trailer options available. Feel free to call me with any questions. My name is Jake, area code 816-394-8850. Thanks.